Grip socks are great, and now they're even better with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Better fit, moisture wicking, amazing comfort, and all the extra grip you need. Choose from 10 different colors for just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. In a world of football boots that are all about technology, there are actually very few football boot technologies that truly make a difference. And that's not to say that a lot of the tech doesn't impact performance in some way, but I feel like a lot of its impact is more so down to feel and personal preference rather than giving you a true advantage. With that said, Nike's anti-clog technology, in my opinion at least, is actually a true advantage when compared to other football boots boots that don't have the same sole plate. And for those unfamiliar with this tech, you can only get it on their Soft Ground Pro layouts because it's designed specifically for use on soft natural grass, which is an environment that's typically going to be very wet. And what happens with this sole plate is when the surface of the sole plate gets wet, it basically acts as a barrier between the bottom of your foot and mud, not allowing it to stick to the bottom of your boots, which means that you're gonna be carrying around less weight on the bottom of your feet, where mud will normally stick to the bottom of a sole plate, and because it's not being clogged up with mud, you're going to have better traction because you're gonna get the full length of the studs. When you have a layer of mud built up on the bottom, your studs go from this long to this long, and you're typically going to slip and fall a lot more than you otherwise would if there was no mud on the bottom of your boots at all, something that these do extremely effectively. Here's the thing, in order for this technology to maintain its effectiveness, you have to make sure that you don't scratch the bottom of the sole plate, which is why on the underside of the lid of the box, this is the wrong box, you can see there are instructions to not use abrasive cloths or brushes to clean the bottom of the sole plate. Reason being that if you scratch up the surface, it's no longer gonna have that slick finish, which means that mud will stick to it like it would any normal plastic sole plate. Keep the sole plate smooth and the anti-clog technology is going to work incredibly well. Which brings us to the point of this video and the huge tip that I have to share for you if you have a pair of anti-clog soft ground pro Nike boots and that is when you're cleaning them off, you should never, and I repeat never, use the traditional method of cleaning mud off the bottom of your boots, which is typically, oh, they weren't actually supposed to touch. You're not supposed to clap these boots. And I don't know why Nike doesn't specify on this boots. Obviously you don't wanna clean these with steel wool or something like that. But I think banging the boots together, especially when your boots have metal stud tips, is going to destroy the smooth finish of this anti-clog sole plate. What you should instead do is resist the urge to clap your boots off because realistically, if your anti-clog sole plate is in good shape and there's truly a good amount of moisture on the field you are playing on, there shouldn't be very much mud on the bottom of your boots to begin with. Let that mud dry or at the very least, carry around a small towel inside of your bag, get some water and just wipe it clean. It cleans off very, very easily because with moisture, dirt will not stick to the surface. And by wiping it off with something smooth and soft, you're not gonna damage that surface. And the effectiveness of your anti-clog sole plate technology will last significantly longer. And just to add on to things that you shouldn't do, because I have seen quite a few people do these things before, is don't scrape them on the bottom of a curb to try and get the mud off. Don't scrape them on the edge of a bench. You basically don't wanna scrape the bottom of this sole plate on anything that isn't a soft cloth because again, you will scratch up that surface and once this is all scratched up, you're not going to get the effectiveness of that anti-clog technology anymore, basically rendering this into a normal soft ground sole plate and stud pattern. And maybe that sounds like a bit of an inconvenience because clapping your boots off is relatively easy, but trust me when I say when you take a hose and a cloth and just wipe off this sole plate, it cleans off remarkably easily and remarkably quickly, much easier than clapping the boots off for two or three minutes. Which if we're being real, only really gets some of the mud off anyways. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more content if you haven't already. And with all that said, we'll see you in the next one.